in order to solve this function, first we need to try factoring it. And we're going to do it in separate pieces. So first we're going to factor um, m cubed minus 2m squared, and then 4m minus 8. And uh, we're going to be taking out the greatest common factor. So between m cubed minus 2m squared, we can take out a factor of m squared. And what we'd be left with is m minus 2. And then for 4m minus 8, we can factor out a common factor of 4, and we'd be left with m minus 2. Conveniently, you can see now that we have an m minus 2 in both of these terms. So since they, we, they share both of those as a common factor, we can factor it out, m minus 2, and then in the other set of brackets, we write what we're left with, which is m squared plus 4. Okay, so now to solve this, we are um, trying to find the solution of it being equal to 0. So we're going to set it equal to 0. And so that means m minus 2, if we set that equal to 0, we get a solution of m equals 2. And then if we set m squared plus 4 to be equal to 0, if we try to solve this, we'd get that m squared is equal to negative 4. And then to solve for m, we're going to square root both sides so that m is going to be equal to both the positive and negative version of the square root of negative 4. Now, since it is a negative number, this is going to be involve imaginary num numbers. It's going to be 2i. i because it's negative, and 2 because, well, the square root of 4 is 2. So um, those are, I guess that leaves three answers. m could equal 2, positive 2i, or negative 2i. And that matches option number 4. All right, that's all for this video, and thanks for visiting JD's Preparation.